guys, today we're gonna make another one of my Italian favorites, Osso Buco, which is beef shank. So for this recipe, you're gonna need some beef shank, um, a couple cans of stewed or, or Italian style tomatoes. I have one diced, one stewed. Um, a small onion, some garlic cloves, some beef broth, and a little flour, butter, and olive oil. So I'm gonna start by seasoning my shanks and then dredging them in the flour. So I have a little bit of olive oil heating in my Dutch oven. And I'm gonna use this five salt and five pepper seasoning rub, which I love. And basically you sprinkle a little bit of that. And I'm just gonna rub that in. And then I'm gonna dredge it in my flour. On both sides. Then I'm going to shake the excess flour and I'm going to go ahead and put that in my oil. And I'm just going to brown it on each side. I'm going to re repeat, repeat the process with these. So you basically I braise it on both sides here really good. I went ahead and I've seasoned up these ones, and now I'm going to dredge them in the flour. Cook it nice and slow, and it's so melt in your mouth. And then this big piece of bone, something about that bone and that marrow gives it that extra nice flavor. Definitely a comfort food. Let's see how this one's coming. Just about ready to come out. Once you ground it, I'm going to take it out and sit it aside. And time for my next one. While these are braising, I'm going to start slicing up my one onion and crushing my garlic. I'm going to go ahead and add my stick of butter in here while it's still, so that my oil is getting low. I have this on a medium high. So it's on a medium high. I'm going to, steam coming up. That's steam, not smoke. Sorry, my lens is getting steamy. There we go. Put a couple of the smaller shanks in together. And continue dredging these over here. And I have the cooked ones right there. Continue dredging these. Raise these. Okay, I think this is the last one here. Looking delicious. Now, what I'm going to do is I have sliced my onion here. So, you want to take your sliced onion? And throw that in there. And I like it in rain. Put that in. And I have crushed about eight, crushed and chopped about eight garlic cloves. So I'm going to add that in there. 
And I'm just going to basically cook that until it gets nice and aromatic. Yummy. So now in Italy, you know, they cook everything with wine. So at this point, you'd probably add about a glass, a half a glass to a glass of white dry wine to kind of deglaze it. But I'm not going to cook with wine today. I'm using beef broth. So I'm going to go ahead and stir in my beef broth. that going. Cup and a half to two cups of beef broth right here. I'm going to add in my tomatoes. And these are Italian style, so they already have the like oregano and stuff like that. I will add extra though, you know, because it's mildly. Um, Mild, they have a mild amount of the basil and oregano. It says on the can, basil, garlic, oregano, and tomato juice. So, two cans of those. All right, I'm going to turn this to a boil. So, I'm going to turn it up a little bit so I can get it back to a boil here. Okay, this is returning to a simmer. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon teaspoon of red chili pepper flakes, a few dashes of garlic salt, and just a pinch of, you guessed it, nutmeg. Top that with a little bit of oregano. I'm going to mix all that in. Now that it's returned to the heat temp, boiling temp, I am going to re add my shanks. this heat to low so it can simmer. And last but not least. And it should be just enough to cover all of them. If you kind of readjust and push them down, they all should be submerged just enough. So I'm going to put these on a low simmer. Now, there's two things you could do at this point. It's up to you. This is a oven safe dish. I could pop this whole thing in the oven on like 300 for four hours, or I can simmer it on stove top for about two and a half to three. 
So I'm going to choose stovetop. I'm going to go ahead and it's on a low simmer. Okay, so it's been simmering for about 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add my bay leaf. Continue to simmer. So while your oso buco is cooking, you want to prepare your side or whatever you're going to serve it over. It's best with a starch like a polenta or mashed potatoes or something like that. Roasted um, potatoes on the side or with it is also good. I periodically check on my oso buco here. Uh oh. Making sure it's not sticking on the bottom. Which it isn't. Which is wonderful. Let's go back, making sure they're all submerged. <laughs> 